Spider-Man is a crucial part of Avengers Infinity War, and he's involved in a scene that has become the film's most talked about moment. But as it turns out, that scene was almost not as powerful, as much of it wasn't in the script. Now, the Russo brothers have revealed the story behind how that unforgettable moment came to be. Here's a look at the role improvisation played in Tony Stark and Peter Parker's dynamic in Infinity War, and how it got us the film's best moment. Spider-Man's relationship with Tony Stark is a key part of the film The importance of their relationship has been established. Marvel Studios' The Beating Heart of Infinity War is really the relationship between Tony Stark and Peter Parker. Spider-Man Homecoming set this up beautifully by establishing Tony's fear Peter will die and he'll be responsible if you died, I feel like that's on me. Tony tells him in one scene. Infinity War also sets up the idea that Tony wants to have a child. But in a way, he already does, as for the past three films, he has been acting as a father figure to Peter. Next, why one unforgettable scene is so devastating. The loss of Spider-Man is devastating for Tony he took Spider-Man's death particularly hard. Marvel There's a reason Avengers Infinity War saves Spider-Man's death for last, it's by far the film's most devastating moment, part of that is because Spider-Man is the only character who goes out desperately scared rather than just confused, and his death takes a lot longer. Tony holds this child in his arms, watches him turn into dust, and he must be thinking to himself that Peter would have never been in this situation if it weren't for him. Peter's death also calls back to a scene in Avengers Age of Ultron, in which Tony tells Nick Fury that he saw a future in which all of the Avengers died. But the worst part was that he survived. Next, Holland has this to say about his co-star. Tom Holland calls Robert Downey Jr. The king of improvising he thinks quickly on his feet. Marvel Studios Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Holland seemed to have formed a great relationship since Captain America, Civil War, which really comes across on screen. In interviews, Holland and Downey Jr. are nothing but complimentary of one another. And in particular, Holland has praised Downey Jr.'s ability to improvise, calling him the king of it. However, it seems that Holland has some pretty good improvisational abilities as well. Next, these lines weren't in the script, the two improvised a scene together they called back to a scene from Spider-Man, Homecoming, Marvel Studios as just one example of the two actors' ability to improvise, Holland. Says that an exchange between Tony and Peter on the ship wasn't scripted, according to comicbook.com, when Peter interjects to tell Tony and Strange that he is back up, this was actually improvised by Holland himself. In addition, Downey Jr. thought up a comeback on his feet, responding with, adults are talking. It was funny to hear that this was improvised considering it's actually a callback to Tony telling Peter in Spider-Man, Homecoming, the adult is talking. Next, an even bigger scene that wasn't scripted. Spider-Man's death scene wasn't entirely scripted actor Tom Holland helped to add more dialogue. Marvel Now, we're learning that the most powerful scene in the whole movie wasn't entirely scripted, either, in an interview with Uprox, Joe Russo said that during the Spider-Man death scene, all that was in the screenplay was Peter saying, I don't feel so good, and then, I'm sorry. Everything in between is Tom. Russo said. Next, the scene was originally a dud, the scene wasn't working when they first shot it, the scenes between Iron Man and Spider-Man were crucial to the emotion of the film. Marvel Spider-Man's death scene is widely considered to be the most emotional and unforgettable moment in Infinity War. But according to the directors, the first time they shot it, it didn't work. 
They told Fansided that when they originally did the scene, it wasn't as devastating as they wanted it to be, it just felt like a piece of plot that was happening. This was an issue because, according to Joe Russo, it was always in our heads that we wanted that scene to be very powerful. Next, how the scene came to be so effective. The Russos made some suggestions during shooting their very hands-on directors. Marvel Studios while shooting the scene, the Russo brothers said they were able to make some suggestions that got Spider-Man's death to the place it needed to be. According to Fansided, the directors pulled Holland aside and reminded him that he's just a scared kid who doesn't want to go. The very next take was the one you see in the movie. Holland decided to have Spider-Man freak out, telling Tony that he doesn't want to go. So Holland didn't pull the scene out of nowhere, it was a bit of a group effort between him and the Russos. Still, it's quite a surprise to learn that everyone's favorite line didn't even exist until moments before the scene was shot. Next, what's next for Spider-Man? Spider-Man will return in 2019 we'll definitely be seeing more of the character soon. Sony what's next for Spider-Man? As you would imagine, he's not dead for good. In fact, a Spider-Man sequel has been confirmed for July 2019, it will come out two months after Avengers 4. It's possible that Spider-Man will just return at the very end of Avengers 4, he could actually have some action. Annie Mackie once teased that he shot a massive battle scene with Tom Holland and Dave Bautista. Since Falcon never even meets Spider-Man or Drax in Infinity War, could this be for Avengers 4? Either way, the Spider-Man sequel will take place moments after Avengers 4, with Spider-Man presumably heading right back to school. From there, the movie will involve Peter traveling the globe, and it will kick off Marvel's fourth phase. Check out the cheat sheet on Facebook.